How cool would it be if you had a crystal ball that told you exactly the type of content your audience wanted from you? Or a tool that could help you better understand them and cater to their needs? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how the latest quiz type now available in Thrive Quiz Builder can help you do just that. And I'm even gonna show you how we're using it here at Thrive Themes to customize our webinars for each attendee. Ready to learn how to read minds? Keep watching. Hi, I'm Matt from Thrive Themes, and let's get started by showing you that strategy I was teasing in the intro. And it's one we've been using quite a bit here at Thrive Themes lately. So if you come to this landing page, at first glance, it may seem like a simple webinar confirmation page, but scroll down and we've embedded something special, a survey asking webinar attendees what they want to learn or what sort of questions they have for the upcoming training. They just enter their response and get directed to a results page state where we can thank them for submitting their question and even link to a similar or related piece of content that will help prime the pump for the upcoming webinar. The way we're doing this is with the new survey quiz type inside Thrive Quiz Builder. And if you take a look at the questions report for that real life survey, you'll notice that we got hundreds of responses that we used to customize the training before it even happened. To get started building a survey in Thrive Quiz Builder, all you need to do is add a new quiz and select the Gain Customer Insights option that now appears. Click Continue and let's give it a name and then the survey quiz type setup area will appear. From there, you'll choose a quiz style one of the many we have available here, and just for the sake of this example, I'll choose the Lush template. Know that the social sharing feature is disabled because this is a survey and not a quiz. And then you'll have the option to create a splash page to incentivize people to take your quiz, set up your questions, and create a results page date. You even have the option to add in an opt-in gate, but it is not necessary and you can delete it if it's if a lead generation opportunity is not what you're looking for here. Now, if you decide to use a splash page, click that manage button and the edit design icon to see the splash page template load. From there, you can quickly customize the inline text, delete elements if you need, and even add something like a video element where you can insert a link to a YouTube video where you introduce the survey, tell people why it's important they take it, what they get from it, and even incentivize their engagement with a free gift at the end. Once you're done with that, save your work and head back to the Quiz Builder dashboard. From there, it's time to set up your questions. And you have the choice of creating a linear question style survey where you just have one question after the other, or you can even set up branching logic surveys. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say you run a coffee tea blog and you wanna ask people about their coffee and tea preferences and habits. So your first question could be, do you prefer coffee or tea? And the answers could be coffee and tea. This would allow you to create one survey that then asks specific questions for coffee drinkers and tea drinkers to get really detailed insights for those segments of your audience. So now let's just add a second tier of questions that are open-ended, like tell us why you prefer coffee. We'll make it required. You can set minimum and maximum character limits and even change the placeholder text. And now we can link that coffee answer to the coffee specific question. And if we clone this second question, we can go in and edit it to make it specific to T. Finally, we just need to link the T answer to the second T specific question. Once your questions are set up, just save them and return to the dashboard. From there, we'll set up a results page. And this is not only a great place to thank your audience for completing the survey, but if you incentivize engagement with a free gift, you can drop a button that people can press 
to get their free download. Now let's just modify the button and the state to look a little bit cleaner. And we'll even change the button color to reflect the template a little bit better. And we can even change the button template to reflect that download. Here's a one with a download icon on it. Now we'll just link the button to our free download by pasting the address, save it, and our results page is ready to go. Once we're finished building the survey, we just come back into the quiz builder dashboard and copy this short code. From there, we can embed this survey on landing pages, light boxes, blog posts, and even Thrive Apprentice lessons. To do that, I can either find the text element, drag and drop that onto the page, and paste my shortcode within it, or if I delete that, I can go find the quiz element, drag and drop that onto the page, search for my survey name, and embed the survey that way. From there, I just save my work, press preview, and the quiz should load automatically. From there, your audience can start the quiz, answer questions, and arrive at the thank you page where they can download their free gift. To see the survey takers answers, you can click on the reports button in the quiz builder dashboard and click on questions. We'll search for the appropriate quiz and then you'll see the breakout of how people responded to each of your questions. And if you had open-ended questions, you can see both the question and the answers listed there. You can also quickly export the results by clicking here and a CSV file will automatically start to download. So other than using surveys on your webinar confirmation pages, where else might you use them? Well, how about on thank you pages in general? For example, if someone signs up to your email list and you redirect them to a thank you page, you can embed a survey on that landing page as well, where you can ask people to submit their burning questions that they want you to answer. With those answers, it's very easy to come up with content ideas, podcast episodes, and even future online courses that people are asking you to create. Another great way to use this survey quiz type is for customer and product development. So again, you can create a landing page and embed the quiz on it. And here are two ways you can work the quiz into the design. So if you use a splash page, just embed it on the page and let the splash page speak for itself. People can click the button and begin the quiz. Alternatively, you could embed your survey on a Thrive Lightbox that is set to program on a button click. So here is this exact same survey, but it's not using a splash page this time. And people can, or can then work through your survey within that Lightbox. Another great way to use the survey is on blog posts. So you can use surveys to poll your audience about a given content topic, or maybe you wanna go deeper into a topic to see what people wanna learn next. So on this example of a blog post I wrote on meditation, I can ask people, have you practiced meditation before? What type of meditation do you wanna learn next? And what are your barriers to having a consistent meditation practice. If I get a lot of answers where people say, want to learn about Vipassana meditation, well, that is a clear signal that that is the next blog post I need to write. Finally, you can use surveys as a way to get student feedback for your online courses. If you use Thrive Apprentice, then you can embed a survey on one of your Thrive Apprentice lessons, say the last one to a course, to get that feedback to help you improve the course and make better courses in the future. Alternatively, if you don't use Thrive Apprentice, just create a landing page to embed the survey on and send your students there when the time is right. So that is a quick look at how you can gain insights, understand your audience better, and give them what they want using the survey quiz type now available in Thrive Quiz Builder. If you don't have your copy already, I will leave a link to that for you in the description box below. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.